بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll we'll try to see the how to create the vlans so creating the vlans is very simple uh, we need to go to the configuration mode and we have to give a vlan and any number any number we can use as i said we can use any number from 2 to 1001 in all the switches so you can decide like i'm using vlan 10 here and once you give this command you go into the config vlan mode and from this config vlan mode we can give any specific name so name is kind of optional even if you don't give it takes a default name but generally it's recommended to give the names as accounts department or marketing department sales team depending upon the departments you can specifically select the name like here i'm just using a vlan name uh, like green and then i'm creating a vlan 20 with a name called red and i'm creating a vlan 30 with a name called blue so we can verify this uh, vlan configuration by using a command called show vlan or we can use show vlan brief to verify so let me just quickly get into this uh, topology here now you can see this is a topology here now probably in this topology i do have uh, some computers here you can see there are computers connected from port number 1 to 12 some connecting all the 12 computers and all these computers are assigned with an ip address of from 192.168.1.subnet dot subnet So basically, this one, two, three, four, one dot one, one dot two, like that, have assigned nine, ten, eleven, twelve as per my topology, and you don't see the names here, but again, the order wise, they are connecting to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm also connecting them in the in these ports. So if you check my topology here, this is the same uh, representation of my physical connections. So we do have port number one, two, three, four to twelve. Connecting computers from one to twelve, and they all are assigned with an with an IP from the same subnet. So let me just quickly write down the subnet. What I'm using one ninety two one sixty eight one dot subnet here. This is the IP address. Uh, this is IP subnet. What I'm using here. Okay. So now I'll go to the command line of the switch. Now in this command line, if I go and try to verify, if I say show VLAN. Simply show VLAN or show VLAN brief. Now here you can see there is a VLAN one, which is the default VLAN present as I discussed, and it is active by default. And you can see each and every port. Now this switch supports twenty four Ethernet ports and two gig two gig ports, which are used for uplinks connecting to switch to router or switch to switch. Basically, they all are part of a one VLAN. So which means if I go and check the connectivity, if I just go to one of the computer here. And I think it is pre-configured with an IP. You can see 192.168.1.1. So I'll go to one of the PC, and if I try to generate a ping request, let's say I'm trying to communicate with 1.2 or 1.3. You can try with many computers, 1.4 or even 1.5. You can see I'm getting a reply, 1.6. I'm just stopping it. Control C, 1.7 as well as 1.8. And as well as 1.9, 1.9 is a ninth uh, PC. 1.10, and even 1.11. Of course, 1.12. 1.12 is the last PC. So I don't have 13 here. So 13, no reply because I don't have 13 here. So basically, I'm I'm getting a reply, and the reason uh, for getting a reply is because these all PCs are are port number one to twelve. They all in the same VLAN, which is a default VLAN, which will be by default uh, there. and all in the same subnet so this is very basic task you need to know so whenever you try to troubleshoot the reachability between the computers basically you have to check the source and destination should be on the same vlan as well as on the same subnet so this is by default that's what we verified uh, if i say show vlan once again you can see port number 1 to 12 they are member of one default vlan so this is how we create the vlans and Uh, simply creating the vlans is not sufficient because when you create the vlans here uh, did i create i didn't create actually so here i go and create a vlan here vlan with a name called accounts the vlan 20 i'll give a name called uh, marketing and for the vlan 30 i'm going to use a name let's say sales okay. if i go 
back and give a VLAN, show VLAN. You can see I created a VLAN and if you verify the connectivity, still the connectivity is up. Of course not for 13, for 12. Because I have created a VLAN but I could did not assign the ports. Okay, so, so basically simply creating the VLANs is not sufficient. So the next step is we need to go and assign the ports.